What a uh, wonderful, fun day that was. But it's in, and I don't have to think about it anymore. Um, these planks were left over from uh, the house. These are 30-year warranty luxury vinyl planks. They're made by Mohawk. They're absolutely phenomenal and they're rated for radiant flooring. So, worked out perfect. They had a whole bunch of this stuff left, so we just burned up a bunch of it. Been uh, messing around with the bed lift a little bit. Some of you guys suggested in the last video to move the cranks off to one side, which works out perfect because we are gonna have a table here that's about six feet long with a kitchen sink in it. So that'll work out just perfect because those will be off to the side. And yeah, these, these handles are removable. And no, I'm not doing electric winches because if something binds, you can't tell if something's binding and the winch will just rip everything off the walls. So I'm sticking with these. It's a very budget friendly way to do it. And I hope some of you guys uh, come up with some similar ideas for your build. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do this. This is very basic, very simple. You can get the Unistrat at Home Depot uh, or Lowe's along with all the fittings uh, and then just buy the hardware and whatnot to get all that stuff mounted. But uh, that worked out really well. This is the highest rated PEX I could find. It's uh, aluminum PEX or PEX AL, I guess is what it's called. It's rated to 95 degrees Celsius. And for some of you wizards out there, you'll know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's way more than um, we'll ever need. I could have ran the standard plastic stuff, but I figured what the heck. And this is the best stuff to use for radiant flooring and heating and all that stuff. So uh, I ended up grabbing that. I will leave a link in the description for some of this stuff. Uh, we got the radiant manifold mounted. One loop will be for this heater. And one loop will be for the uh, flooring. And then the, the pass through here is just so the, the hot water heater under the truck by the uh, water tanks keeps everything defrosted under the truck when we're out in the snow and whatnot. I have uh, coolant lines running through there. So basically it'll go from the Eber Spotcher uh, into the water heater, the plate exchanger underneath. And then it'll come up here. Pass through these manifolds and through these if you have these valves on. It should work. Fingers crossed. I'm not an expert. I'm just trying this out. <laughs> and hopefully it works out really well. So we'll basically have radiant floor heat and a supplemental heater if the floor heat is not enough. I put some FRP panels up on this wall because this is where the shower is going to be. So the shower is basically going to be in this corner here. And there will be a curtain that runs around and connects right here to some little I need to find some sort of clamps spring clamps or something that I can bolt to the wall here or screw into the wall here that way I'll have a, a way to hold the shower curtain uh, away from the control panel there but yeah shower is gonna go here it'll be elevated a little bit what else can I tell you uh, I got all the stuff I need to finish this up. So I'm gonna start busting out some of this stuff 
you can see a big pile of stuff in the garage there I've got I'm I purchased a bunch of uh, gladiator stuff when it was on sale for like 150 bucks for each of those two cabinets and the table and uh, I hung on to them knowing that I would use them for something eventually so we're gonna put those to good use the refrigerator is gonna go here and then you know the storage cabinets and chairs and whatnot can just kind of float around wherever they need to be but um, temperatures have cooled down drastically over the last well today is the first day it hasn't been humid and muggy and ridiculous out but uh, I got all this other stuff in I got the shower head and uh, a holder for it so we can still wash dishes in that shower pan and then we got a little tiny sink that's going to go in this gladiator table and these are the the gladiator cabinets we're going to use for storage one will be for willow and one will be for sean and that'll be fantastic i have one more of these left in case we don't have enough storage i can add another one um tons of fittings and all the pex stuff that we need to get that going what else boy i think that's probably going to be it i did figure out an idea for the tv but i'll share that in a later episode because the electronics and the lighting and all that stuff is going to come later i have some lights on order i think you guys are going to like but uh, enough of me rambling. If you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I would love to have you as a subscriber. You're not going to want to miss the rest of this utilitarian style build out. It's going to be a nice semi-open floor plan. I think you guys are really going to like it. And uh, whoever was asking, yes, this is a, for a king-size mattress. Just barely fits a king-size mattress up there, but should be good. That should be here Saturday. But other than that, hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other. And as always, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.